Welcome to the first episode of the show. I'm here with my friend, closeted homosexual. I'm not closeted nor homosexual. But that's okay. You people just like to jump to conclusions. Do you know why we're here? Do you know why you're sitting here? I kind of had to put you on the spot here. Uh, it's because you're going to come out to me. <laughs> this is uh, that new show about MTV, about how how the one friends who would date each other. Have you oh, ever seen uh, that show? Was it Naked First Date or something like that? No, no, it was it was like it was like Friend Zone or something like that or some. Basically, it was like a show where these two friends were like, "Hey, I got a date. Would you help me out?" And then they were like, "Okay, yeah." And then at the end of the show, they were like, "This date's actually for you." And it was up to them or their choices about like, "Hey, you want to go out?" It would it would either be like a yes or a no. Yeah. Most of the time, she'd be like, "No." And it's just funny because they just That's walk away cool. and then they're just like, I guess I don't have my best friend anymore. The point is, girls and guys cannot be best friends, okay? You guys hear yeah, that? Yeah, they have to like, girls and possess guys. them or be completely disassociated. It doesn't matter. Girls and guys can't be best friends. It's impossible. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree. You know what? Okay, the point of this show is... is uh, it, To offend as many people <laughs> as we can. Have you ever... Uh, okay. Have you ever had a Kinder Surprise Egg? Do you know what Ryan Toy Box Chest is? Ryan Toy Box Chest? Ryan's Toy Box. No. Christie's Toy Box. Oh, yeah. That's kind I of drive t- by that place and it makes me uncomfortable. Well, I buy... <laughs> I buy... I buy... Okay. I buy a bunch of stuff on Amazon. And I want to buy a lot more other stuff. But we don't know about the review. I only read the review, but I don't know what it's like. So I'm going to have you review most of this stuff. Me and you to get together. These better not be like sex toys. It's like unbox therapy where he uh. What's that? Well, he buys the stuff and then he plays with it and then he does stuff. Plays. Yeah, but I'm giving you the review. So I got like the first item of ticket of availability. I want you to open this. And, uh... Well, uh, it feels pretty firm. I'd I'd give it a nine out of ten on firmness. So. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's this. inside there? Yeah, let's, let's see what's inside. And I want you to give yourself a legit review because we're going to have to review this product. Well, it's a little long for me, but I can see how this pocket vagina would work pretty well. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna have to, like, review this product, and then we're going to actually get, give a review for it. So we're, we're going to review it, and then we're, like, actually going to give a review? Exactly. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, and uh, this whole uh, topic, we're going to be doing topics, and this topic is uh, YouTubers. Since we're first starting out as YouTubers and we're all slow and small, but it might as well get into the integration of YouTubers. What is that? I'd like to say this is more of a, like a high class. It smells movie. like a hospital. Does it? Holy shit! It does. What the fuck? It's, what? Okay, that's that's an eleven out of ten for uh, realisticness. You know? How would you use this product? Would you put this on your car? <laughs> no, it's too big. Can I put it on your car? Not a chance. We have a blank wall behind us if you want to put it on there. I can't even like, unroll. What Fine. Do you use, like, is this supposed to be like a It's a wall jangle, bro. This cost me about 40 bucks. Why? Because I wanted to see its unveiling of its wall jangle. Decknels. Oh, sweet. Decknels. Wait, oh what shit! What you should probably do is uh, that old lady's. But are you gonna put it on that? Cause yeah, we're gonna put it on the wall, man. On so this. You wall. wanna mount? Yeah, mount the top part. And it off. It's not gonna work. Man. It's too wrinkly. Here, start smoothing it out, or just pull it the rest of the way off and completely ignore. There we are. I say that's a pretty good wall mount. I say right there. I, I say right there. She's got a really big forehead. That's a pretty nice wall mount. What do you think that she was thinking about in that whole photo? Like, somebody's really gonna pay me fifteen bucks an hour to use my inhaler. As you can see, the facial expression on her face is, "What am I sucking in life?" Yeah, that's exactly what I got too. You know. So, how would you rate this product? Um, 
I'd have to give it a 10 out of 10, you know. It's, uh, 10 out of 10. It's impossible. It, I mean, it's adhering pretty well. It hasn't fallen off. It smells like a hospital, and that's kind of what it reminds me of. Because of this old lady. Yeah, the liver spots, the details are really nice. Okay, I guess it's okay, 9 out of 10. Because okay. she's only got one chain on, and, you know, everybody's supposed to have two. Okay, if you were to write a review, what would you write? Um, let's see. Olfactory qualities, 10 out of 10. Smells like a hospital. 10 out of 10, wood bang. All right. Wood buy again, you know? These will be all the nice qualities that you can easily buy. Uh, wall deck know of an old lady yeah. right there, so. That's what you should expect from this product, yeah. Moving on to the next item. We played this game recently, and I want you to know that what I game? spent back gaming. <laughs> oh no, we played like Minecraft. No, oh, this is five, this is the type of thing. Five nights at this is the type of stuff where you could probably get a ten-year-old kid and be like, In "Hey, kid, into your van." This is what pedophiles should be using nowadays instead of just saying, "Hey, we got free candy." So, what does a door cover do? Uh, is it was like on the shut door, or is it? I guess so. You're just supposed to scare your family. Open it. And look, I got even more stuff. What? Five Nights at Freddy's oh Toys. Five Nights at Freddy's Toys. Actually, you were here during that time. Oh, that dude was crazy. Yeah, we, we had some weird dude like come up to us and say, hey. Well, what are those? He's like, what are those? He's like, and then he I'm... realized that, you know, first thing he realized we were carrying those toys. And, like, you got real excited. And the next thing you realized was, oh, crap, they're not under the age of 10. <laughs> so I just had to play it off. And so he had to say he had a girlfriend, and he's yeah. like, my, my, uh, my girlfriend. She so loves that, that shit. She loves that. Oh, God. So these are, these, this cost me about, like, 10 bucks each. And these, actually, on Amazon, cost about... 20 bucks each, so you so should you review got, these uh, products. It's Walmart, better uh, better prices, better savings, you know. Walmart, and this is not sponsored by Walmart. It's, uh, Walmart.com. But uh, if you're interested, you know, hit us up. <laughs> well, I think it looks pretty good. Man, that is scary because you can see his crotch. <laughs> oh, wait, oh. It feels kind of cheap. I wouldn't expect it to last very long, kind of like me in bed, but. I'm gonna lie, would you put this up in your car? Maybe on my car? Up. This wouldn't fit on my car. I mean, you could just hang it out there, you know, just <laughs> in the back you. seat. Officers like, uh, you got anybody else riding with you? Oh no, yeah, just uh, Freddie Fosbear back here. <laughs> just, uh, man, look at I that. I hope you don't need to see his license. <laughs> look, look, look how majestic that looks. <laughs> now, if you were to, <laughs> now if you were to attract some ten-year-old boys, how how would you do it? Uh, well, it'd definitely be involving this and a buffalo. Live or stuffed. Perfectly stuffed. Uh, that or you can just cut out a small hole. Put my penis. <laughs> right there yeah. for Halloween and it would easily be inserted in there. So, what do they call that? Uh, uh, glory hole? Yeah. Uh, well, you could or you could call it the faz bear hole. Or, or the faz hole. Oh man! Because uh, his, because his name is what Freddy. kind of faz hole would name it that? Because yeah. that's the Freddy faz hole, and then you'll be definitely giving those kids a great surprise. You know what I'm saying? Enough of that. Just on with the next product. All right. I don't know why you have to be so nice. So nice. So nice. I want you to review these products because these were terrible and they just. We're not reading the packaging. They're not posable at all, so that's kind of a drawback. Um, I once read a review about how this kid tried, tried to move these and a woman got mad. I tried to what? Like, like this one won't even stand up. That one's kind of pitiful. Um, that one's sitting already, so you know it, it already would. Okay. That one doesn't stand up either. Really. There goes uh, uh, Foxy. Foxy, this one has the Bloom Boy. Bloom. Bloom Boy. And this one's Freddy Fazbear. So, let's see, how many out of, uh, he kind of stands up. 
This dude ain't gonna stand for nothing. So we got like what? Maybe three out of ten that actually like stand up, you know? How would you rate all this plus that? Um, uh, yeah, I think it's probably a uh, more of a marketing scheme. Like, the game's really not that great of quality to begin with. Me and you both played it. Yeah. We both played the first one. And, it was, uh, so it, it, it only got me scared one time. So they're, they're just trying to sell you stuff, you know? It's like, kind of like Disney movies, where it's more about the merchandise they sell related to it than it is the content they produce. If you were to write a review for both of them, what would you say? Um, let's see. Great product, or it would be, were I ten. Were I ten. All right. You heard it here first. You heard it here first, folks. Let's just get that clearance kick off and just clear it away. What would you like to do more in the best thing in the world? What would I like to do more in the best? Thing? <laughs> Get hooked on phonics. <laughs> Let's homie. talk about that. Talk about how am I gonna open? It? I I don't I don't know. I should have been prepared for a box cutter opener. Use your use your oh, nails. I guess I have some keys. Whoa. Keys. But let's talk about that. Yeah, about keys. So they open doors, preferably locked ones. Um, they're metal. You can actually get extra ones made, you know. Oh, really? Let's talk about that. So you can go to Ace Hardware. People always come into where I work and like, you guys make keys? Like, nope. Like, really? Uh, well, let's oh, talk about that. that. Now that you asked a second time, we actually did. Well, let's talk about that, too. Oh, I there was a sticker. Let's read what uh, this is. Ah. Uh. Wow, thank you so much for your order. We appreciate this, that you can take your time and leave us a review on Amazon, which is what we're about to do. You have anything less than a five-star experience, please email on the info of beardandlady.com. So, Beardedlady.com. That's, you know, where I, that's like my dating site. <laughs> okay, well, like I said, this cost me about 15 bucks. This is Rhett and Link's Mythical Pomade. That's why I said let's talk about that. Who's Rhett and Link? I don't know who Rhett and Link is. No. For real? I used to use Pomade. Do you even like deserve? I don't know. They, uh, it is the ingredients. It's, uh, water, paraffin, pa pa paraffinum, liquid dumb, wax, PVP. I know PVP. That's yeah, they get you hella high. Oh. <laughs> no, nah, that's PCP. And so this is a pomade. This is what they get. This is a water-based pomade for you know things like that. So, so I let's, used to use pomade. Let's just uh, let's just test it out. Maybe you can test it out. Well, I don't have a comb, and this would be the last place that I would expect to ask for a comb. Yeah, I believe this. Really well, good. no, it's not at all. Oh, you just, you warm it up in your hands because it like uh, like emolumates or something like that. And then you work it through. So you have to like yeah, work, you it work it through. Work okay, it through. so and then you comb it. So so no, I could you be gotta like aggressive. You know, so like, I could be like uh, Rhett and Link. Who's Rhett and Link? That's that that's Link right there. And Rhett. Is and that that's Rhett right there. They do a show called Good Mythical Morning. It smells like foot cream. Not that I would know what that smells they, like. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they do stuff online. See here, uh, use. Work a modest amount of paste into damp or dry hair, then style to make your hair its mythical best. Well, don't I look like a mythical beast right now? Yeah, that just got its face finished all over, you know? <laughs> exactly, man. Since you're not using that product, I can... I'll let you, uh, yeah, take the I'll just, I'll just review this product. I, I'll, I'll give it, like, five stars, you know, from you, Bearded yeah. Lady. Beard and Lady. If, uh, if you were to write a, view, a review on it, what, what would you say, you know? Uh, I'm a big fan of Rhett and Link and everything. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of them and everything else. And hopefully, not... hopefully, I could be on your show one day. What Rhett and Link.com slash Hannah Saint. Maybe we can collab on their cool stuff. What is that? Is that a jackalope? That's, that's what they do for their mythical show. 
That's why I have to talk about that. All right. Well, you look pretty suave with the. Uh, yeah, my hands are all sticky. Yeah, you're supposed to like do it in the bathroom. Your mom was supposed to do it in the bathroom. I did your mom in the bathroom one time. Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> yeah, she asked for that white sauce. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she did sour cream. On to the next product. This is one of CJ's favorite. Oh, is it a channels. dragon? No. <laughs> okay. Major League Gaming. This is their their game that they did. They they have a show on Rooster Teeth called oh. Million Dollar Butt. So. I, I ain't never seen an ass worth a million dollars. Well, I've seen one worth nine hundred ninety-nine thousand. Well, their well, their whole show about million dollars, but is about how how everything is done. We'll just play a little bit of it. Oh, I think we saw a video of that where like there was several guys sitting in that bar. That yeah, they were. See the setup. Each player takes five, four black cards, trigger cards, four gold rule cards. And the player, a full hand scenario, trigger plus rule, face down judge, one at a time. And, uh, yeah. So, uh. That was brilliant. That was. That was, that was uh, YouTube. So, okay. Okay. Uh. Okay. See, this is how that show would appear. It's like million dollars but every time you cut yourself flying monkeys appear and beat the shit out of you I just I do that because I don't cut myself very often unless I'm like feeling really bad or how about this one I brutally thrash my thighs or uh, every time you cut yourself the next time you speak to someone you have to call them a cunt without explanation so every time you cut yourself you'll be like you fucking cunt I could put up with that. I mean, because I don't cut button. myself. You know. Or how about this one? Uh, mil million dollars, but every time you hear a baby cry, you must roam the streets, doiling out vigilante, vigilante justice. Oh, it's like Batman. Vigilante justice. Vigilant. Vigilante. Justice. Can I have the language of origin, please? Here. How about you? Were how about you give me one and uh and you do you do stuff all right million dollars but whenever you watch a video you do a lot of that whoa you know, i do whenever you watch a video let's talk about oh that. my god you must try to convince someone that you were in the twin towers on 9 11. whoa which you pretty much already do that with the whole like jet fuel steel beams thing yeah jet fuel can't melt steel beams let's let's uh, let's talk about that <laughs> No, just How about this? Million dollars, but every time you ride in a car, you must tattoo a teardrop on your face. Yeah, I think I'd pass. Or will CJ pass? Is that possible for CJ to pass? I don't know. CJ, if got you were here, you would have been. You would be enjoying this Rooster Teeth exclusive product because he would totally cream his pants right now. Too bad. I'm here. Too bad. He were enjoying Poor this. CJ. Rub, rub this all over your face right now, and rub it in CJ's face. Yeah. You enjoy that, CJ? This is for you. That's for you, man. Every time, but every time a celebrity dies, every David time does a celebrity that. dies, and you switch bodies with the person to your left. Uh, and uh, yeah, every time a person dies. Humps your leg. Every you time look a like person dies. <laughs> CJ, that's that's for you, man. That's for your million dollars, but that's a mess, man. Hey, you asked for it. That's a mess. All right, well, on to the next product. Who is the most? Who is the most? Okay, well, hold hold on. Mirror, mirror on the wall. First of all, how would you rate this product? Uh, I think it's pretty uh pretty well rounded game. Uh, it's kind of a play off of some other ones that I think we see a lot of. So uh, it doesn't get a very good high score for originality. How would you write this review? Uh, half cocked at best, enjoyable after a few drinks. Wood bang. Wood bang. There you have it. You heard it here first. 
Well, we heard it here first. Okay, well, we got one more product for you. And who is the most famous YouTuber that you know? Mm. <laughs> Humongous butt. No. Humongous. That's Humongous, a, yeah. That Humongous, guy. okay. You really hate him for oh, some yeah. reason. Girls like him a lot. Yeah. Because every time you want to bang. Yeah. They're like, oh, his videos are so funny. But they're really just sitting there creaming themselves. And he gets really offended off that. I don't know why. Okay, but anyways, we got PewDiePie's. This book loves you. He wrote a book? Was he it like with a, a ghost author? Like that one chick? And then what's his name flipped out about it? Probably. I don't know. But this is a, this is a book by PewDiePie. He is uh, currently the number one subscribed YouTuber out there, but his views are not the most subscribed. That doesn't make sense. So, are not viewed. Not Ryan's Toy Box is the one the most. We're trying to replace Ryan's Toy Box. So, you're my Ryan. You're my little Asian boy Ryan, who we're trying to outrank him. And, you know, we're just trying to... Christie's Toy Box? Yeah. I'm trying to buy you toys so you can flip out. This, this book is cleverer and better looking than you. See, that's the kind of shit. See, you see where I'm coming from yet? I, I just like to see you rant about PewDiePie. Let's because uh, I mean, right off the bat, it's sitting there trying to degrade, you know, degrade, and then like all the chicks would be like, you know, brushing it off, like, oh, that's funny, you know, and they're really just sitting there like trying to cram it in their twat, you know? Because well, it's PewDiePie. Well, well, let's just see what page one is about. Let's is just... it like a picture book? This book loves you by PewDiePie. The most important thing in life is this book. It's a goddamn holy Bible. This guy will teach us how to become a YouTube celebrity subscriber count. Look at that. Mr. Felix. Mr. Felix. But it doesn't matter if you uh, have the most viewed, you know? Oh, it does. Oh, it does. Look, all these people that... Some that... The duck is coming. That's one of his memes that... I don't know because I barely watch his videos. Uh, he's actually in some trouble because he did some anti-Semitic things, but let's just not talk about that because. Uh, yeah, I might get triggered or something. <laughs> you know? But it's just all in good fun. It's all in good fun because you always get triggered, man. You're just like a feminine. You're just like this old lady. You always have to Dude, suck she, on that. She thing. is like the epitome of Trump voters. She doesn't get triggered. Unless it's like the brown people that come to clean her house and wipe her butt, you know? Her? Yeah. You just giving this lady a backstory? What the fuck? Hey. What's her name? Edna. Edna what? Edna what? <laughs> Mungus. This man has sexually assaulted me with Edna. Whatever. Let's just continue on. Never Look Back. By PewDiePie. This is all like nonsense. Uh, if le left life doesn't go right, oh, I I can't read from under here. From under where? <laughs> 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 See, I'm funnier than PewDiePie. Are you sure? Cause that's pretty funny right there. He he's pretty cute. There's the difference between being funny and being cute. They can't all be zingers, you know. Can you look like that? It try. looks like you're starting to look like that because of that hair. It looks like you're trying to rub off of him. So I'm you gonna can go look shave like that. my head after this. Are you so sure about that? Would you like to use some of that pomade? No, that's quite all right. I bought that for you. I bought all of this for you. Well, but I'm we haven't it. even got to the things I bought for you. Oh, oh, he bought me stuff. Oh, that's cool. The, yeah, it's uh, still coming in the mail from oh. Amazon. You know, <laughs> oh, like those okay. Christmas gifts two years ago. Hey, those gifts will be coming. <laughs> Winter's coming. <laughs> Winter's oh, coming. Okay. The pizza's on its Look way. Look at that. See? He, even, he is committed with those teardrops. Like in that those are million. Fake. Look at that, everyone. He must have rode in a car six times. Mr. Felix has written in his own Who's book. Who's Mr. Felix? His name is real. His name is Felix Shelburk. Shelburk? K uh, Kilburk? Kal 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 Kalburk? So, uh, yeah. But yeah, thanks to, thanks to PewDiePie. I want you to read this over. Maybe you can do some good in your life. Maybe you can laugh at his videos maybe once more. And that's a lot in your life. You know this is just like a marketing ploy, you know? And you spent, you spent 16 bucks? 
Uh, actually, I didn't spend this is like ten bucks for me, bro. Oh, really? Because it says fifteen ninety nine in the bag. Just because it says fifteen nine ninety nine in a bag, doesn't mean I spent that much. I bought this on Amazon. Okay, it was either this or that Smosh book or Dan and Phil. Who's Smosh? You don't know who Smosh is? They used to be the most subscribed YouTubers before PewDiePie went around. With Ian and Anthony, they're you lost. They they do stuff. It was either this or the most amazing book. It's not not on fi fire by Dan and Phil. Who's Dan and Phil? Like Philip DeFranco? You need to be. This is why we're yeah, doing all Some people all this. like do things other than watch videos with their time. Like what? What do you do? What do you do? What? Do what? What do you do? What? Demongous what? How would you like to rate this book? Rate. Look, look, there's even a unicorn. Don't mess something you're not. Don't unless, be something. Don't be something you're not unless you can be fabulous unicorn or just be a fabulous unicorn. See, it's all nonsensical. That's just supposed to be a fun book, bro. Look at that. Maybe Senpai isn't noticing you for a reason. Is that why you're mad? Yeah, because she's too busy cramming fingers inside herself because of PewDiePie videos. Is, is, is it because he's not no noticing you? Is that why you hate him so much? I couldn't give a damn if he'd notice me. He can catch me outside, how about that? And all these hoes laughing like something, you know? Look, he's, look, he's even sad about that. He's... Embrace your... Mister. Embrace it. I, w I want you to read this book over and think about... It's not even reading. It's like a picture book. But it's the most important book in the life. Of, uh, of your life. Oh, how, since you put it like that. How would you rate this book? Well, it's covered in pomade. So, uh... <laughs> I'd say packaging could use a little help. Um... I don't know, I haven't read it, so I'm not prepared to uh, review it, you know? You're given this review of the book of PewDiePie. Of oh, let's say uh, 1 out of 10 would not bang. Would not bang. You, hear, you, hear you heard it. it here first. You heard it here first. If you guys would like to order these stuff on Amazon, and if you'd like to see these reviews, which I will be putting Or just, these, like, uh, you know, send us a message, because this stuff will be, like, on the cheap from us used, you know, second hand. I'm good. I, I mean, I, I'm reading this book and it's pretty. Look, every day is a second chance. You still fail. Bloody hell. How many chances do you need? Okay, that's kind of dark. I, th I, th I thought it was so inspiring. Was like, every day is a second chance. And I was about to say that's for you, but yeah. every day you could like PewDiePie. See, it's all like self -defense. Me and you can RP in PewDiePie mode. What, so you're going to be PewDiePie and I'm just going to be some random chick watching YouTube cramming fingers in herself, you know? Man, you're really, you're really, you're really down for it. Not, not for PewDiePie, man. Yeah. Uh, how about this? Million dollars bud, but every time a photo is taken of you... You have to read PewDiePie's book. You have to book. read PewDiePie's book. Well, people don't take a whole lot of photos. Of me. But that's a million dollars just to read this book. I'd rather starve. Man, he is... You heard it here first. You heard it here first, people. He is not liking PewDiePie. Why is he not like PewDiePie? Why is he not like PewDiePie? I think he's pretty funny. He's annoying? He's annoying? Yeah. I would agree. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, it is. That's pretty crazy. Well, 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 well